everyone. Amanda Fitzgerald here and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. So welcome, welcome. Um, if you're catching this then you're probably catching the replay. So thanks heaps uh, for joining in. Usually I do go live at 8.30 on a Friday night um, but I've been a little bit not there all the time. Um, things have been going on with sickness and family and all sorts of things. Um, it's, it's definitely cold. Um, in lots of parts of Australia, actually. Um, Sydney, Melbourne, yep, everyone. Tasmania, wow, I was watching the news this morning and heard that little town in Tasmania was minus 12. So, um, yeah, it is. It has been cold in, not in all parts of Australia, but um, it has been here in Sydney and other parts. So, um, and along comes with that Along comes with that is some nasty bugs and that. But um, but that wasn't my excuse last night. Last night, purely, I, I was tired and I fell asleep. <laughs> um, I've, I've been having a very big, um, I've been very busy with work. So it's end of financial year with work. Um, and it always comes with um, longer hours for me. So, uh, and looking at screens all day. So, um, and sitting all day. So, um, very tiring. You kind of, you, people always go when you've got like a, a physical job, you're tired. But then when you have a job that um, is on your screens and thinking and writing reports and that, that's really mentally try, ty, uh, tiring. So you're not really physic, but you feel physically tired. It's weird. Anyway, so yeah, lots of things going on. But I thought I really wanted to show you my car because I actually did some craft yesterday too. So here I am going, oh, I was tired. Well, I was. I actually um, spent some time with a girlfriend. And um, we we snuck in a, a few hours um, in between school of some crafting. So and I made my very first Christmas cards. So um, I got um, some new Christmas. So there's been some a few actual Christmas products are released online. So online only. So we don't have a Christmas catalog yet. Um, but what Stamping Up are doing for us are releasing products early. So that means we've got some Christmas in July products. Um, which is awesome. That's the best part about having these products online. So if you jump onto um, one of my links, I very often put the links. If you want a link, by all means, let me know. Um, but you can go to www.stampingup.com.au. Just make sure you're shopping with me. If, you, if you're if not shopping with a current demonstrator, I'd love to help you out. So just make sure you're shopping with Amanda Fitzgerald. But like I say, I can send you a link. Um, if you do use my current host code at the moment, you do still get a thank you gift off me um, for any orders over $50. So jump on the website. Um, and if you go to what's called online exclusives, um, there is a whole host of new products in there. Um, so that's where I got these ones from. So they're not in a catalogue. And this actual card is featured on the website. So if you have a look around, there's heaps of inspiration on the website as well. And that's where I case this one form from. So I copied it from Stamping Up. Thank you very much, Stamping Up. And I love it. So um, I think I've found majority of my Christmas cards may be made this way. So yeah, um, it is a great time to shop at the moment too, because we have what's called bonus days. So bonus days is each time you spend $90. So it can be not multiples of $90 in an order you get a nine dollar voucher so essentially you're getting ten percent off everything um so that voucher comes in an email so if you do get that email don't lose it um because stamping up um, I, I believe can't reissue them so please make sure even if you print it keep that code um because then in august you can go on a shopping spree and spend those um any nine dollar vouchers that you've collected um you then can spend them the bonus is if you are a demonstrator already, you get your discount. So you get you spend the $90 retail, you get your 20 or 25% discount because that's the bonus that comes with being a demo, a demonstrator and joining my team. Um, if you haven't got a current demonstrator and you'd like to join a crafty team, I'd love to have you on board. But um, yeah, we actually get that discount off plus we get the 9% coupon, the $9 coupon, sorry. So you get your discount. So say you're sitting at, um, 25% then you're essentially getting 10% so you're getting like 35% off at the moment for shopping essentially but you actually get that money in your vouchers but it's still a good deal um, yeah so great time to shop the month of July so that runs for the entire month of July um, also if you are a demonstrator we fall into pre-order what's called pre-order next month sounds a bit confusing like what is all these words well when you join stamping up you also get 
early access to their products. So we get early access to the Christmas catalogue next month. So that's a great time to spend our vouchers as well. So, so if you are interested in joining, please let me know. Um, it is always the best deal. So at the moment, you get $235 worth of product for $169. So you're getting $66 of product for free and you get to pick whatever you want. So whatever you want online makes up that $235 worth of product. And then you pay $169 and you also get that free shipping, which is almost about a saving of $20. So it's, it's a good saving. Um, there's no lock-in contracts. You can jump in, join and do your startup kit order um, and see how it is. And then you can always leave at any time if you wish. You don't, you're not contracted, you're not paying fees or anything like that. Um, you just, you, you just um, become inactive and you go back to being a customer. So it's um, no penalties whatsoever. Now I've seen some people jump on, so hopefully that's awesome. Um, Dimity and Bev, hey Al, how are you? Hey, how are you? Um, yeah, so today, like I say, I'm not going to make this Christmas card. I'm gonna show you how I made this Christmas card, but I'm gonna show you an alternative that you can use with this because um, this iconic imagery that I actually made this card from is very versatile because you could actually use it for a birthday card. Obviously, oh, you could, yeah, you could even um, celebrate, of course, celebrate. You could use as a, a birthday sentiment um, or love you, just simply love you for a birthday. So there's sentiments in there that you can use all year round and even some of the stamped images can be used all year round. So I'm going to turn this design into a birthday card. Yes, because I need a birthday card. I'm just about to look at my screen behind me. Um, but yes, I'm pretty sure I need a birthday card. All right, um, if you're on my team, you've probably I spied your name on my little whiteboard there um, because I give my team all sorts of little um, happy mail in, in the mail for um, birthdays or, or certain things that go on in our team. Yeah, so, all right, let's flip the camera and give it a go. Oh, that's my little moan as I get up. All right, now that's a little bit high. Let's see how that looks. Last time I had a little bit of problems with this too. And then when I first start off, um, now I'll just, actually what I'll do is, I might just quickly, I'm gonna show you my iPad just quickly, if I can. I'm gonna, this is the online store. And I might be able to just grab it in here. So if this is the online store, and when you go to the online store, um, you go to this menu, so when you sign in, this is actually a demonstrator view, but if you sign into www.stampingup.com.au or follow a link if you would like me to give you a link which would make it easier for you, um, you can go to the menu um, and if you go to shop products, this is a really easy one to get into and these are if you want to shop via the menu, you've got adhesives, um, die cutting, embellishments, um, kits collection, um, just on Kit's collection, I have my local coffee and card coming up on Tuesday night. So I'm doing my first evening one. Um, so I'm doing that locally. Um, so if you're interested in coming, um, obviously there's not enough time to buy one online now, but that is okay. I have about oh, 10 odd so kits, if not more, um, that I'll be bringing with me. So all different ones. Um, so you can purchase a card making kit on the night to do. So it should be a good couple of hours of fun um, in the evening. So that'll be nice. So I'm just doing that one locally. So that's the kits collection. They are fun. Um, and the on so if you click online exclusives, these are the online exclusives. So this is actually the some of the cards um, from the set that I'm talking about. So if you just look here, um, so it's got the celebrate, peace and joy, grateful for this season. Um, the celebrate piece and then see here this one here they've turned it into a birthday card so I'm going to do some something similar well not similar to that but yeah so in the online exclusives you can see all the new kits that have been released we've got some beautiful um I love this one with some ice skating skates um there's been some beautiful cards made with that one I've seen around um, we've got some Halloween that have come in nice and early. So if you're, if you're into Halloween, this one makes some <laughs> super cute, um, 
Halloween cards or Halloween things. There's a lovely Expressions of Kindness kit that's come out and then our Christmas. See some of these Christmas stuff. So you can buy all these products that I'm going to show you today individually. Um, remember, always buy your stamp set and your dice together because you'll get your discount. You get your 10% discount. Um, but I actually bought the whole bundle because the whole sweet collection because I thought for $119 and I also get my discount. Um, that was like a no-brainer. So you got, I got the stamp set, the dies, um, the beautiful ribbon that we'll use today. I got the embellishments, which are really, really nice. They, they'd be great for male and female cards. And they're called um, Pecan Pie and Clear Ribboned Adhesive Back Dots. The papers are awesome. So we might go through the papers in a second. And then I actually did buy some additional. So these are some standalone stamps that I bought because I needed some more um, just purely the words, the sentiments. I think I said that I needed some more sentiment stamps. I just, yeah, so you can buy them on there. So have a look through those online exclusives. They are usually each month they bring in new products. Uh, yeah, each month definitely card making kits are being brought in each month. Um, but then regularly products as well. Okay, so let me just get this up on the screen. And we'll see how high it is. Whoa, super high. Why is that so high? So if we can, let me see what I can do here. And I appear to be frozen. This happened last time with my iPad. I have no idea why. Um, I guess I can bring it down a little bit, but um, that's not ideal, but I guess we're going to just go with that. Um, also, you can see on my desk there um, is – now, my computer's out the front, but I actually, for some reason – Anyway, why I try and fiddle to the side here, I will start to show you this paper. Okay, because I am just frozen. You know what, instead of just stuffing around, I'm just gonna have to go and get my computer again. And I must make a point of figuring out what is wrong with this. Hang on one second, guys. So if you are watching the replay, it might be just best to skip along. I'll just quickly set this iPad up. I mean, not iPad, but um, computer. You know what? It's always the technology of things. I don't know what's wrong with that. I must make... And of course, my laptop has been out the front, so it's probably been used and it's probably flat.
And there's another board. Okay, all right. Let's see if we can just... Yeah, so here's the paper. If everyone... I don't even... See, I don't even know if I'm even live anymore. It's all right, we'll get it happening. And then we'll figure it out. So you can see the the papers that I used yesterday to make this card. All right, looks like I'm live. And this one's going to work, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So I just don't like it. Sorry, guys, just while I try and figure this out, look away because I'm going to move these around a lot because it's not going to be great for card making. Oh. Oh. Note to self, I think I'm going to have to start doing a bit of a test All right. that might be a bit better let's see if that's gonna hold up for us because you don't want to see my mess you just want to see how the cards created <laughs> so all right we'll put a bit of light on there I can still see comments and hello Kathleen no worries are you late because I've stuffed around for ages trying to figure out my screen so but it looks like i'm a winner now all right so um i'm just gonna have another little I think that's I think that's the best I'm gonna get today. It's pretty shocking. Anyway. Let's give it a go. So yes, so these papers, um I had everything set up correctly and then had to yeah abort. So this is the card that I made yesterday. So this one here, what I used, and obviously I um, went to I went to a friend's house to craft. So I actually um, didn't have everything with me, but I used actually Cajun Craze behind here. But the actual paper that goes with it, a Cajun Craze is one of them. So it actually coordinates this um, papers coordinate with some really nice coloured cardstock. So you have Moody Mauve. Um, Misty Moonlight, Pecan Pie, uh, Mossy Meadow, Cherry Cobbler, of course, love when that one starts to come out at Christmas, and then Cajun Craze. So I actually didn't have my Cherry Cobbler with me, and we didn't have any Cherry Cobbler with us, so I used the Cajun Craze, which didn't, it actually didn't look too bad um it probably would either be but it might be better a bit better with you you know what either or cherry cobbler or cajun craze that i just wanted to explain and then i'll do the alternative the other card to this so i just use my normal um size card template that i always use i use this designer series paper i then die cut some squares out and then I'll, I'll show you what I do. You'll make a... Well, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but for a birthday card. So you'll see what I do. All right. Okay. So these are the papers. And like I say, they're good because... Not just for Christmas, but... But you can use for Christmas as well. So there's some Christmas trees. And that one there that I've used there. You've got some candy canes, which are cute. Um, and some greenery then you've got some champagne glasses which is good for all year round um, oops. and you've got some oops some love hearts on the back there I'm picking up another one there some love hearts which are cute not necessarily for Christmas then you've got your acorns and some spots 
everyone loves plaid so I've got some plaid that I used on that one and that's really pretty for um, alternative cards because it's got the moody mauve um, berry in it oh hey Patricia how are you we're using some new online exclusive um, products because they've launched some Christmas on there which is awesome but they can be used for both that's what I found anyway so we've got some stripes um, we've got some per nice ones for New Year's or just simply to go with that celebrate um, where is it this um, celebrate sentiment and some birthday candles which I might use that one today we've got some moody mauve um, so like some pink Christmas trees, but it's like an alternative Christmas card. You've got your snowflakes, which are always popular at Christmas. You've got your little um, berries and some more plaids. Great for some mail cards. Because remember I said that the embellishments are great for some mail cards as well that come with it. Some doves. I didn't, haven't even noticed those ones. They're pretty. Um, some stars, some stripes, Christmas trees. Some like confetti and the stars so they're pretty pretty cool all right so let's get this cast started so this will show you how I made my Christmas one but as an alternative so what I did ahead of time just so you didn't have to sit there and watch all of that I use my most favorite stylish shapes dies these are one of my many go my one of my main go-to's because it has squares your banners and then your circles that um, layer that's the word I'm looking for so I've cut out obviously we need nine and so I've cut out a few I think I've, I think I've got a little bit more than nine there so we've got those ready to go so I, I used my cut and emboss machine to do that then I thought what we're going to do is, um, I was going to use that, um, the Christmas can, the, the Christmas candles, sorry, the birthday candles one. Yeah, I'm going to still use that one, the birthday, let me find them birthday candles. I just don't know whether to do the wine glasses. Oh, I think I might do this one. Yeah, I might do that one. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. This will make a nice card. So this one is, um, I would do this with the Moody Mauve. So we'll do a Moody Mauve card. So we'll get one of these sheets out. And we'll cut this just to my normal side. Actually, we might, we might cut it the other way. We'll do it the other way. So we'll do a full sheet of A4 cut at 10.5 centimeters hey Jane how are you yep so there we go oops um, I'm just going I'm just running my file because that for some reason I think it's because I didn't I, I don't know it's it's actually my trimmer it's very dirty So I, if if it does that to you, just just use a nail file. There's many other things you can use. We'll just fix that up a bit, and then remember to clean your track. But probably not with that. Post it night note, note running down there cleans your track really well. Just like this, I'll show you. Oh, do I have a post it note close by? No, because I've been using them. Haven't I? I don't know where I put them. That's all right. I'll do it. I will remember. put that back there so then we've got oh bring your trimmer back in again because then I just use the little lip of my trimmer and I'll go that way and I just fold that over and push that down then I know I've got perfectly in half I've made that very ordinary but we'll fix it up with this scorer there we go beautiful and then that's going to go on there so then that one is going to be cut at 10 centimeters by 14.4 yes yeah, so at the moment um, the good the good thing is is 
I think this was about 100, so 119 for stamp, dies, everything you need to make Christmas cards and some other cards, embellishments, ribbon, and all your papers. 119 plus you'll get your nine dollar coup nine dollar voucher to spend next month because remember each time you spend ninety dollars and I did explain that it's even better deal for demonstrators at the moment so each time you spend ninety dollars retail as a demonstrator you get your discount plus you get your vouchers keep those vouchers don't lose them keep them in your email keep the numbers because you'll need need them to spend in August um, so yeah this is a good deal at the moment but it's just online so it's called the iconic imagery. And this is the Christmas card that I made yesterday, but I thought, let's do a birthday one. So then I'm going to just simply put that on there. And this is what we're actually going to work on um, to put to do our, our, our squares. Okay, so we have going to have um, nine squares. Um, yep, that's nine. I did I cooked dinner last night, you know, and I'm I I realised how bad I'm getting at maths and I made a fettuccine cavanara and, and it, it had a soup mix in it. And I I don't know, I had the recipe said I can't even remember now, but I tripled it instead of I tripled it. No, hang on. Well instead of thirty grams I put ninety grams in. Anyway, so it was very powdery, it was quite a fail. Um, yeah, so the rest of it will be going in the bin and I was hoping that it would have been leftovers for today, but it's not so But yeah, and just counting them out reminded me again that I'm not that great at maths <laughs> All right, so then we just need to grab um, I will grab This and we'll just put them up there because we know we've got nine So just my, my little stamp and pierce mat. So your stamp and pierce mat um, inexpensive little tool but works well with your photo polymer, so that's your clear stamps. It just um, gives you a little bit of foam rather than a foam surface to be um, stamping onto rather than a hard surface of, surface of your table or your glass mat if you've got yourself one. If you're a demonstrator, you were silly not to get one last month, but it doesn't matter anyway. They're still available for demonstrators, but they're now available for customers, which is cool. Let me just lift this up a little bit. I'm just not happy with how this stand is today. Sorry. Just, you might be able to see a little bit more of my screen. No. That might be a bit better. Just not happy with it today. I wasn't last week. Anyway. There we go. That's probably a bit better. All right. So then we need to just pick out. Obviously, we don't want to use any Christmas trees. Um, but what we will use is we will use the the. Um, oops. Oh, that's an extra one. We will use. Um, where's my blocks? Over here. So we'll use the snowflake. Um, I just might grab some more blocks out as I go. Now we'll use um, the love heart. Um, I'm also going to use the candles. So with these candles that are in here, I'm just going to put that over here. I'm going to lay them on my glass mat and line them up with the bottom there because I want to have both of those together like that is that lined up a little bit over that's looking good without having my head over so that's our little candles um, then we've also got we might actually how many have we got so more we've got one one two three some dots for we want a star so we'll do a star as well and do that in that one a star one two three four five we want one more i think um oh we might do the um oh maybe maybe the, the leaf oh no we'll do this one actually we'll do that one 
and then the little berries are cute too so we'll do the berries on another one there we go the berries all right we're all set up with our stamps there so you could set if you had if you have multiple blocks <laughs> put your hand if you have and you want to do multiple cards like if you, especially if you're doing christmas cards and you want to do a whole heap of these set them up all your blocks and you're you're good to go but then you've got to find room for them huh, especially when you're on a lot okay so we'll find room for these no problems right then we might just grab a little bit of paper because i am using um my foam mat and then we're just going to grab moody mauve so we'll use moody mauve of course and then we need alternative color so the alternative color we're going to use is um misty moonlight yep misty moonlight because we'll incorporate some of that color with it as well there we go all right so we'll do we'll do some um boho no not boho blue sorry the misty the blue them in the candles so I'm just going to test them to see whether I hmm you know what as I use this I realize what this is actually for so what you'll find in this set too is it's actually a two-step stamp as well so instead of me actually using those separately I should actually be using them together so um yeah we're together that makes sense so we'll just stamp now the other thing i realized is i haven't cleaned all of them when you get the photopolymer it's best to give them a good clean because they don't always work first time because they have some oils on them from the manufacturing so i'm thinking yeah we might do it second second generation so we go one so stamping it off so we go one and then we'll go like that so we'll stamp off and then stamp on stamp off and stamp on there we go and then we'll clean that one up and then with the other candle which we'll probably only do one of these so we'll put that candle away we'll put the other candle on here and actually just i would always put it down on your mat and pick it up because sometimes the photopolymer bend as well and you don't want to pick it up and you have slightly bent it so this one i will actually stamp it full strength and we will just go like that and that just puts a little bit more detail or watch that big splodge that i've just done There we go. Yep. So there's one. My ink is very. My misty moonlight's very juicy. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyone else crafting this weekend? We've got rain, so why not? Is what I say. I did want to go to markets, but it's just not the day. Not the day. Okay. So that's that. So then we will work on. So the other one. Oh, we'll do. Um, we'll do this one here with the um, moody mauve, Whoop. like that, and then clean that one off. And then we will grab the little berries in the um, misty moonlight again and we'll put them on there so that's like a little berry there we go uh, then we will do um, we'll do some dots um, in the moody mauve just some simple dots really any stamp sets that you have um, so with this heart we'll go moody mauve and then we'll go stamp it off and do 
that color and then I might stamp it off again and do another one down there. <gasps> Whoops. Oh, yeah, okay, dropping it. I didn't want to hit the floor because I couldn't be bothered to bend down there. And then we'll do a Misty Moonlight um, Snowflake on another one. Hopefully you can see. I'll try and move up a bit more. There we go. Um, so that was a Misty Moonlight Snowflake. And then we'll do a... Just make sure it's got Misty Moonlight off. We'll do a... Moody Mauve Snowflake, like that, there's our Moody Mauve, we might do two Moody Mauves, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, two Moody Mauves, actually, I wonder if a second generation would look nice, yeah, let's do Stamp Off for that one, so again, that gives you a little, two different colours again, like that. Oh, awesome, Kathleen. I just saw it making the cards. I can't wait to see. I'm excited about that one. And then we've got our stars. So for our stars, we might actually grab the other star. So with the hearts, you've got a an outline. So you've got the outline here. Um, and then you've got a star that's a solid one. Um, here we go. So we'll use the solid one and then we'll stamp off and we'll do that. So that's another one. And we might do that with the boho blue. So we'll clean that star off. We'll go, oh, not boho blue, misty moonlight. Why do I keep calling it boho blue? That one. And then we'll clean it off again. And we'll do that and then we'll do again the second generation, which was still a bit dark, but that's all right. There we go. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. We've got all our, our tiles done. So I'll just make sure all of these are clean. And I'm going to have to keep an eye on my phone because it's even dropping. Okay, I will keep an eye on it. Because I have done that once where yeah, I haven't even been in the screen. So that's awesome. Kathleen is crafting. <laughs> okay. I've got to make dinner, unfortunately, again. Because I had a fail. That's right. Okay. So we'll close those ones up for the moment so that I'm not going to stick my hand in them. And so we'll take that away. And then all you need to do then is grab your piece back and decide where you want them to go. So we might make those candles in the middle there. Um, that one can go there. Um, we'll have a um, that one there. I'm deciding as I go along because I think once they're all there, then you can actually make some adjustments there. I don't want that one to go there because then it'll be a full line of blue like that so there we go um <coughs> excuse me so then we'll glue those on first we'll grab some glue now we're happy where they sort of are now i just use my glass mat for the lines just to make sure i'm well if anyone knows me, I'm, I'm not perfect, but I can try with my mat. So that one goes there. Then I would do the other side. Like that. Whoops. And that matches that line there. If you don't have a glass mat or your grid paper, use a ruler. Or you know what? Line them up by eye. No one is going to notice. Now... I'm going to put this mat on the the foam the foam adhesive sheets. Um, so I'm going to be using my the foam adhesive sheet. So it's going to make it quite thick. So you could also mount these with um, like 3D, like your dimensionals. Um, but if you if you mount it too much, then it might if you're having to post your card. 
it might cost you, it probably cost you a couple of stamps um, if you do too much um, 3D. So that's why I'm, choo I'm, choos I'm choosing to glue these ones and then, um, then I'm going to lift the whole layer up. So that's that one. And then we put this one down the bottom here. And then this one over the side. And then this one in the middle. There we go. So that's our layer. And then we want to find a piece for the middle. Now I'm thinking um, either... Um, we don't want to do um, drinks again, but this one is pretty. Either this one, which I'm thinking yes, as I put it down, or we could use the candles. I don't know about the birds. Oh, I don't know. Get it out. Or this one. So all of these kind of have these coordinating colours. So you're either going to go this for this strip here. So what do we think? Dots, birds, candles, or flowers. I'm actually thinking those dots kind of look the way to go. So how cool, like I said, that's... Even, that's four sheets out of that designer series paper. Let me know if you have a preference of one of these while I'm chatting away. Because um, that's what I wanted to do was get some... I don't know which one to go. Um, yeah, they're all great for everyday cards. Kathleen says <laughs> birds. Still says still sounds the same. Yep, birds. Um, it's because you're a blue girl, isn't it, Kathleen? Um yeah, and, and these backside, then they, they, you get your little hints of Christmas in as well, but you can use them for both, can't you? Actually, we also could do that. Oh, I like that. I do like that one. I think I like that. Anyway, I've got the fireworks. Um, we've got it. Yeah, so it's going to go on here. And Kathleen says the birds. Oh, maybe the birds. I like this one, but Hmm. All right. I'm going to cut the birds. So I'm going to cut this and see. Now, this measurement is... Uh, let's say 3.5. 3.8 we'll go 3.8 let me see if that fits in there because remember i'm a freehand person yet 3.8 so let's cut these at 3.8 and then decide which one to use so we'll cut this one at 3. Point, oh hang on go this way 3.8 and then the other one at 3.8 So it will go on there, and then the uh, this piece that we're deciding on now will go. Whoops. It go. It's actually ten point five. It's going to measure ten point five because it's going to go cardstock to cardstock. So there's the birds. That's the birds, and then we're going to have a little bit of ribbon. So I'll just grab the ribbon, and we can get the full experience here. that much of a ribbon whoops ribbon fireworks I think I'm going fireworks sorry Kathleen yeah I'm gonna go fireworks Whoop. But maybe I'll put the birds in. So why is that sticking my glue on me? I don't mind a fraying anyway because that's the kind of look. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 
Yep, and then we need to decide on our little sentiment. So, um, um, I don't want to use the Celebrate because the Celebrate's a little bit too big. So that's what I'm going to use. Like I said, I bought these couple of, they're awesome. They work together, to be honest. So you, you can go like Anniversary in the print um, and then you can use Happy in the in the scriptive writing. So let's look for um, wishing you, wishing you a, oh, that's too much because we only want that little bit, don't we? I think we just need a simple happy birthday, don't we? I think happy birthday will fit. I think I'm just going to use the happy and the birthday, but it's really good because you can mix them up. So you could actually do happy and I wonder if happy fits. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. I think happy's quite big. Yeah, it is. Not going to fit in that one. Not going to fit in that. And I really like that banner because that actually comes with the in the dies. Let me have a look at the dies for a sec. What have we got in here? Yeah, that, that one or the bigger one. And the bigger one's too big. So we've got to find something that fits in there. Okay. So I think, ha let's hope the happy birthday does. Hang on, we'll get it out. Now you can also, and I did do on this card, you can use this, the dies as well. So I die cut that out and put it on. I should have done that actually. I forgot. The Christmas tree is two step stamped and then die cut out. There's a heart, your berries you can die cut out. And you got some, oh, even the candles you can cut out. Yep, so there is um, the candles. The candles I might actually... Um, the candles I'm thinking I might, I don't know whether I want to actually die cut some candles out actually. Oh, I don't know. I think I might. So what we'll do is we'll get our, get a bit of um, cardstock and I'll get some berry of not what it, Misty Moonlight out because I'm thinking of doing some candles. So we'll get that out and then we'll get some white. Some white. Okay. So we will get the happy. Now I'm just going to test it here. Whoops. Happy. Birthday. I think it's going to be a little bit too big. Oh. oh. Oh, it's going to be too big. What about love and joy? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to use love and joy. That's okay for birthday because I really want to use that sentiment. I mean, that's that cut out. Okay, so let's... let's um, Put this back after all that so we'll put happy back in here happy and then birthday and we'll do what i did before so we're going to leave the oh i need a bit of paper so we're going to put that there and we will get out peace. Oh, not peace, but I'll put peace down. <laughs> Love and joy. I don't think that's too word weird for a birthday. Oh, and yep so line them up again on either your glass mat or your um, 
grid paper, get a block, and then pick them up. And then you've got your words. So then we'll do that in Misty Moonlight. Use two cutouts with Happy. Oh, what an idea. That's an awesome idea. I could have done that. Mm, doesn't matter. Good idea. Good idea. That's right. We've got love and joy. And love, I'm pretty sure, is not really straight. Have another go at doing this. It's because I haven't got my head right over love. It's amazing. Sometimes you just need to stand up when you're crafting. I'm going to do it now. And look down, don't you? Now you could always stamp these um, individually as well. That would work. And now I think my joys. There we go. Okay, let's stamp. Awesome. Yep, okay, I like the second one. So we've got that. We'll go stick that in the dye machine before I change my mind. And we'll get that. Happy with that. Now I'm going to do some back to my candles. I'm not really happy with the candles that I put on there, so I'm going to fix them up because I can. So I'm going to figure out this as I go, actually, to be honest. So I'm going to get my candles back again on some box. Here's my candles back on my blocks. Now I'm just deciding whether to use that one or because I'm using the cardstock now, I might just simply do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that three times and cut them out. What you up to, Dimity? Are you crafting? You're probably not freezing where you are. It's not too bad today. It gets cool. It's cooler, much, much cooler in the morning and um, in the evening, of course. Okay, now where is my dies? So then, I, out of the dies, I'm just grabbing. The candle that I noticed. Here it is. So we'll run these through and see how this turns out. It looks quite good. <laughs> okay. I would put my machine up on there, but I've just not got <laughs> I haven't got the room up there today. So I'll just do it off to the side and then show you how it's turning out. There's our love and joy. And we've got our one candle. Well, there it is. And we'll just do our other candles. Put that one in there. And then one more candle.
having difficulty picking the other one up. There we go. So we'll put that back there. And I don't know where that other die. Oh, I put it there already. I'll put it around the stars or where it belongs. There we go. Sometimes I keep my dies neat, most of the time, no. Okay. All right. Now, let's get this card back. So, I'm going to put these over here. I guess see because I don't really like those. So, I'm just going to go the size I want and cut it off. Slept in today. Slept in just watching at the moment. We'll move to room soon after cover. Beautiful day here. Oh, need to be in the garden. Oh, you may as well do a bit of gardening too. I know we've got another. So, um, we, part of my team, I've been a little bit slack. I'll be quite honest. Um, because I'm not slack. I've just been busy with my family. Um, so I haven't had some team, I haven't had team gathering for a while, but, um, with the, Mandy Witherby, who I'm with as well in, a, in, in our greater team, she has a team gathering today. So we all can jump on Zoom and we find out what's happening with Stamping Up. Um, and then we also do a little bit of crafting together and have a little bit of a chat. So that's nice as well. I'm going to try and make it. See how I go. Life always gets busy on a Saturday afternoon, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> All right, so then we'll get so the, this take a pick tool. People always go, what do you use your take a pick tool for? That putty end is priceless for picking things up. So I just picked that up so easy. You drop something on the floor, you use that putty end. So I'll put a little bit of glue on it, and then I pick it up, and I can flick it around. Pick up another one. Glue. There we go. They're not perfect, but I might just see if I can stuff it. It's not stuffing, it's a handmade card. It's making it unique, isn't it? Okay, so then we've got that. So then we'll cut this to 10.5. Seemed a little bit small, but it has to be right. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll check it on the other piece. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put some glue on that one. And then all I did was I grabbed the foam adhesive sheets. Now, even using these, to be honest, the dimensionals aren't as thick as this. So even using these, I'm probably going to have to put a little bit more. I'm probably going to have to put two postage stamps. And actually, um, so then I just cut that and then I cut this into threes. So these you just cut to whatever size you want. And I'm going to fix it. And then we pull the strip off. Otherwise, you, you, you kind of want to use quite a bit of dimensionals on this. So you don't have a... Because you're doing it on... You either use a lot of dimensionals or you could actually... Because it's designer series paper and it's paper, so it's not really cardstock, you could put cardstock behind it too, and that would make it a little bit thicker. But I've chose to use the, the foam adhesive sheets. Like that. And then we put that on here. And that just gives it a really solid base. So it, it makes it 
not a flimsy card that's what i'm trying to say so then we'll put um we'll put some glue dots on this one and i didn't think i had them i thought they might have still been packed away from when i went crafting too but they weren't so i just simply stick these on here actually they're not the ribbons doesn't pick them up that well so again take your pick tool pick your glue dot off and stick it on the back And my fingers are sticky. My, yeah. Very sticky fingers today. Get on there. I think you could use glue too, but um, you know what? I'm going to stick it on there now and put the other one up on the paper will work better oh that one just flew away oh i found it huh that's on my my glue holder now remember if you haven't got one of my glue holders that i make so i do sell these for 15 dollars. they're awesome for holding your glue um, I sell them in all different colors so that's um, like a metallic purple this one's a tricolor I actually have a new tricolor that's kind of the like the Tombow color green so that one's really nice um, and then I have oh no that's the same one I do have a blue one as well and the black so th these ones are ten fifteen dollars if they're like the special ones and then the matte colors this one's ten dollars like for a plain black or a plain white gray I have a few colors so if that's something you'd like let me know and I can help you out with that there we go and it's not straight see I mean just got to do something that's not straight there we go fix it up a little bit there we go now it's straight and then we put our love and joy on again with some glue dots again because I don't want to lift it up anymore so I'll put three glue dots on that just like that And there we go and then you want to add um those embellishments where are they somewhere here we are <laughs> and i think i'm just going to use the clear one so they are really nice pecan pie but i haven't really got any pecan pie on there so again this is what i use my take your pick tool for and I will actually use one of the bigger ones. I did use the little ones yesterday, so I'm going to put a big one on there. I just realised I put my three snowflakes together. Dear me. That's all right. We'll put one down here. And we'll put a big another one on. Um, we may as well just put them, even though they're together. That I didn't really know if I did that. Three, four, and then we'll go five because five is better than four. And three is better than two. Like that. My putty needs replacing. So all you do is pull it off when it gets dirty. And just, this is actually the first time I'm going to have to change my putty. And I've had this for nearly four years. So they do come... You can buy the replacement putty. So this is my, will be my new one. Oops. Um, yeah, so I have to put that on soon because I think that's my last squish. You squish it very little because it oozes out very slowly. Very excited about the card I am making. Cannot wait till I post it and see if everyone is excited. Oh, I'm sure we will be. It will be posted next week. Cool. Awesome. Um... Oh, yeah, I was trying to get this little one, wasn't I? There you go. It works perfectly when you've got... Um, and we'll put one in the star. Oh, just with the stars. Here we go. Like that. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'm in my team at the moment. And I have some vacancies in my team. If you want to be a showcase stamper. So in my team, I pick a stamp set um, for the craft a crafter that's in my team. That's joined stamping up with me and then I, I purchase that stamp set and get that sent to them 
and then they create four projects um, that they will post to our team group. So we have a private Facebook team group and they post pictures of their cards um, in that team group and show them how they've used that stamp set. So it's a little bit of challenge and um, uh, for the people that are getting it and it's awesome inspiration um, for us. So it's um, we've been having fun with it so far. All right, so then we just need an insert. So I've got one here. And for the insert, we will use our, our birds. So we'll just chop one off. I might just, what was that measure? 3.8. So was it 3.8? I think it was 3.8. So we'll do it at 1.9. Oh, I just I wanted the birds, and that is gonna okay. We're gonna do a little bit less than that because I just want the birds. Yeah, but then that can be used on another card. I wanted to get the birds, but save the back. Okay, so then we get our insert and we grab some glue. So hopefully you like these products. I thought I really bought it for Christmas, um, and then when I got it, I thought, well, hang on a minute. I'm gonna make different cards with that. So I, I think I've, I think I've succeeded to make a birthday card. What does everyone think? What do you think? You think you can use it for birthday and Christmas? I'll just put some stuff on that. like that. And there's our two cards. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, what's that meant? My, my, maybe just stop right there. There we go. I like them as a birthday card and my first Christmas card. I don't know if that's too high. Yeah, it's too high. Let's go lower. There we go. So you can see on that card there, I used um, the die cut to cut those little bits. It's out there too. And that was with some really pretty paper. Um, that one is called, um, no, that's not what it's called. I can't remember what this one's called. I don't think it's called oxidised paper anymore. I think it's called like brush strokes. Anyway, it, it is online under designer series paper. So it is pretty, sorry, I can't remember the name of that one. But any you could use any kind of gold or silver paper. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hopefully um, that wasn't too annoying for people with my whole technical issues again. Um, I will try and get that sorted. So have a nice weekend. Um, stay safe, stay dry, stay healthy. And I will see you all next Friday night. And if you are local, I'd love you to come along to my coffee and card evening. Um, so that is local to me. Um, and I have some stamp, like I say, I have some card kits that you can purchase um, on the night if you want to come along. Um, I actually have some, um, well, my daughter's coming and there's um, some other, other couple of ladies are bringing their daughters too. So it would be a nice night. Yeah. All right. Catch you later. Bye.